so guys this is the photo which we gonna edit just like you know, and you can see it is kind of you know the photo reference image is very much similar to that of the captured image which we have captured on the road so you can also capture the photograph in such a way that the model is sitting on the road and uh, you know that the divider is just uh, on the ground it should come in between the legs now let's uh, you know stretch this photograph <coughs> which we have you know captured let's duplicate the image now let's just merge both the image and just select this photograph or the, this much area with the help of mark tool and change to content aware fill it with content aware so it will just remove if it doesn't remove then don't worry just select the clone tool <coughs> just select the clone tool and just clone this uh, area from here just like this way so it will just you know you can just play pre, I don't know, press the alt key to select the area from where you wanna select Also, let's remove these shadows from here. Alright, now this one is looking kind of cool. So, we have extended the background image which we want for our Instagram ratio. Now, let's select 2 is to 1 to compare our image. Select the 8 is to 10 ratio which is our Instagram ratio. Just crop the image in such a way. Right, guys now here we have to remove this one also which we have inverted right so we're gonna just select that area and just right click on it and select fill fill with it you know with content hour so it will remove that you know lining from the image now this one is looking pretty much perfect and close you know capture image just like that the first thing you have to keep in mind is guys let's uh, select the brush tool and just you know select the color that is a yellowish color guys you have to keep that in mind you have to you know place the light on the ground and it should be reflected on your face so here we have taken uh, our mobile as our light or the flashlight which uh, you know it is directly affected on the face now let's just clone it the, the mobile we're gonna clone the image of the mobile from this uh, lane just make sure to keep it very perfect and we will select the alt key to select the desired area and target to the area where you wanna paint that clone effect now let's select the brush tool and just paint it with the color that we want that is a glowing effect select the yellowish color very precisely guys paint it with this yellow color or you know saffron yellow color you can take any of that color like this now let's select again this one and we're gonna just paint it with the color just make sure to make a perfect and detailed brush of the you know, stroke the brush on that area no part should be unremained so guys if you don't know the color then you can just search on instagram that profile is very creative with cool color effect and mostly he uses the light effect in his photo so it really looks very amazing and unique concepts so you can just get the ideas what kind of photo you want you can just take the ideas from that profile and do don't forget to follow now here guys you have to change the blending mode to overlay right to get that perfect yellow is a glow effect now we're gonna duplicate the image change the blending mode to screen and you can see the difference guys now here we're gonna just paint it with kind of reddish tone effect press ctrl u from the keyboard to get this hue and saturation tab 
now guys you can see the difference screen again let's press the control D and just make a more lightest lightness to a hundred percent and we're gonna just uh, remove or decrease the opacity of that layer you can see the difference now select the eraser tool and just to select the soft round brush and just paint it the edges of that lane make the opacity to around 74 percent and erase the edges of the lane to this portion like over here still you can just decrease the opacity if you really want otherwise just leave it as it is <coughs> Now select the quick selection tool and just select the model's face. Now we're gonna just create new layer to get the perfect, you know, that uh, effect on the face. So just select the brush tool and just paint it on the edges of the, you know, face of the model. Just like this way, so that it may look more realistic and change the blending mode to overlay or screen. This is totally up to you or you can also even use soft light. Yes, this one is looking quite cool. <coughs> now again let's just uh, select this area which was remaining. Select that layer and let's create new layer and select the brush tool. Again let's pick it the uh, whitest yellow color. Again let's just paint it with the uh, adjust on the color change the blending mode to screen so this one is really look very amazing guys this one will look actually good like a real glowing effect on the skin now let's press ctrl J to make a duplication of the layer Let's go to the background layer or the image layer. Again, let's go to the background layer. Now we're gonna just uh, <coughs> merge all the layers. Select the merge and now let's add some kind of you know fairy dust light particles to the photograph. Just drag and drop over here. Guys, you can download this uh, background or this uh, fairy dust from the links in the description. Now we select the eraser tool and just remove the unwanted fairy dust, uh, you know, that uh, stroke of the brushes from the PNG with the help of eraser just delete that portion from there now this one is looking very random and original which we actually want so just duplicate it by pressing ctrl J and just place it somewhere over there and here and there in a random position guys so it should look more realistic and kind of you know fairy light or fairy dust is uh, spread over there it should look like that again press ctrl j from the keyboard and just place it somewhere over here press ctrl j press ctrl t and let's keep it somewhere over here and just flip it in a horizontal or vertical way anywhere you want just make it should be clear that you know it should be at least random guys so you have to place that fairy dust in such a way now go to the adjustment layer select the solid color and just pick the you know yellow is green or sorry blue is green effect or the dark blue color change the blending mode to old Here I have tried multiply but overlay would be pretty much perfect and close to the photo so you can see the difference. This one is looking kind of cool so like decrease some opacity a little bit would be pretty much perfect to around 50. Select this layer mask, select the brush tool and make sure to select the black color 
in the foreground decrease the opacity now just erase it from the facial region where you don't want that blue effect so just select it that So just uh, remove that uh, blue effect on the area where you don't want. Now just merge all the layers. Just right click on it and select merge layers. Okay, let's crop the image for our Instagram ratio. Now go, go to the filter. Select camera filter from there. And just uh, select de increase the contrast. And we're gonna just uh, in in decrease a little bit of highlights if you need, or you can just increase a little bit, increase the shadows and just increase the whiteness. Now add a vignette in the photo because to get that perfect moody dark effect, you need to add this vignette effect on the photo. So we're gonna just add this effect. Now let's change the primary color of the blue to around minus 20 and just increase the saturation to get the perfect enhanced look also the increase the saturation of the red tone from here <coughs> now you can see it is getting pretty much closer to that look now again let's just go to the HSL tab and select the equalize tone to kind of you know get perfect equalize tone let's select the bluish color and just make it to minus 3 to get that perfect tone effect in the photo now let's decrease the black tone increase the clarity guys if you increase this clarity it will actually you know make it look more and more amazing so we're gonna just increase the clarity and it will get the details of the road and it will make it look more and more amazing guys so we're gonna just increase the clarity of the image so you can see it is uh, kind of getting a very similar tone effect just like Calop. I increase the sharpness to get that perfect details So I think we have almost achieved that color effect into our photographs. If you want to add shadows you can add a bluish color shadow. The, this is the most important thing guys. You have to make sure that the shadows should be of bluish tone so that it may match with the photo of the color. Just may add a saturation to a little bit. Don't add too much of saturation of the shadow. So this one is pretty much very very perfect and close to that of Caleb size. So guys you can see the difference it is really looking very very amazing here is the before guys and here is the after so you can just compare both the images it is really getting closer here is the before and here is the after so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button and if you still not subscribe yet then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashwitcreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, mo mobile lightroom preset, lots and many more cool stuff for free. Also visit our second website that is filterpreset.com. Also guys don't forget to follow us on Instagram just tap as your creations. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video. And guys don't forget to be creative and be awesome. So guys you can see the difference it is really looking very very pretty much perfect. So 